Hey, Ian Robertson here. I'm the owner of Full View Home Inspector Marketing, the co-founder of Inspector Tool Belt Home Inspection Software, but also I'm a home inspector. I've been inspecting homes for almost 20 years now. And today we're going to talk about how we as home inspectors can use ChatGPT. So if you haven't heard about ChatGPT yet, you should really be looking it up. And if you have heard about it but haven't used it yet, hopefully after today you'll start to use it because it is a tool that will change and is changing how business is done. So what is ChatGPT? It's artificial intelligence. It's text-based. So basically we ask it to write something or tell us something and it'll give us text in return. It sounds simple, but it's extremely useful and extremely complex and will revolutionize, in my opinion, how we and just about the rest of the world do business. So how can we utilize ChatGPT as home inspectors? Let's find out in three ways. First of all, writing report narratives. Second, writing website content. And third, writing newsletters and presentations. So let's take a look at all three points because if we're not using it now, we're going to be behind the starting line and this can really save us a lot of time. So here we are at ChatGPT. So we can go to chat.openai.com. So the first thing that we're gonna show you about what you can use ChatGPT for as a home inspector is writing report narratives. So I just felt half of everybody's heart drop as soon as I said that. Don't freak out. First of all, it's not taking over our industry. And second of all, experienced home inspectors, we're not going to use this to write our entire report for us. It's supplemental, but it's super cool for being supplemental. So I'm going to give you an example. Say we found a bowed foundation wall. Write a home inspection report narrative about how bowed foundation walls are bad. So a lot of times when we give ChatGPT something very specific like this, it takes a minute to think. So we can see here that ChatGPT is already writing a narrative for us. It, it's not doing a couple of things. It's not identifying the issue. That's up to us. It's not giving an opinion. Again, that's up to us. So that's a limitation of AI. It does not have an opinion. So it writes everything overly objective. So this is the first time I'm seeing this because AI does things originally. It's, it's just writing. So let's take this apart a little bit. So we can write, for instance, at the beginning of our report, Bode Foundation Wall noted at the west side of the home. Recommend evaluation by a qualified contractor because a Bode Foundation Wall can be a serious issue. Here's why. So as we look through this, it's not bad content. First of all, it's a little bit wordy. This is more like a blog post. I would not put all of this into my report. I would take bits and pieces of it. Um, I might even just take this first paragraph. That's not actually that bad. It's part of the inspection report writing process. We write down, number one, what the issue is, number two, why it's bad, and then number three, what to do next. So the second part of an inspection report process, why something is bad, is oftentimes where we lack uh, the ability sometimes, especially as new inspectors, to write a good narrative. And it's probably the longest part of our report. Rafters, the rafter span was too far, or cut rafters in the attic, whatever it happens to be, it, explaining why that's bad is sometimes hard. This does it for you. So a couple of fallacies again, it's a little bit wordy. Um, second thing is, you can't always trust the information. You have to read through it thoroughly. So if we don't know a bit of information, don't trust ChatGPT to pump out the right answer. It's not a replacement for a home inspector. But especially if we're new, we might have had to search the internet or, you know, sit there and try to figure out how to write this. Now we can say, oh, this sounds good. And then read through this, correct maybe something, and copy and paste that paragraph. Again, for me, this is way too long to put in a report. Some guys like to put all that in there, but not me. We didn't like what it spit out. We can regenerate the response. A couple of things. How you ask the query is extremely important. So for instance, before I wrote this same query, but I wrote it with narrative without home inspection report narrative in front of it. So it took narrative as, oh, you want like a story. So it told me a story about a boat foundation wall. It was kind of funny. Um, then I also wrote why 
how bold foundation walls are a serious issue instead of bad. So I didn't give it an opinion to work with. So I wanted to know my opinion is this bold foundation wall is bad. Cool. Now it can write with an opinion. On its own, it doesn't have an opinion. So serious issue can mean a lot of different things. So it started to write me a weird blog posty kind of sounding narrative. So how we write the question is extremely important. But here's the advantage. This saved the average newbie 10 to 30 minutes of how do I write this up? Uh, one of the narratives that came up with for me said some weird stuff like, you know, uh, not that moisture can cause a bowed foundation wall, but a bowed foundation wall can cause moisture. And some weird statements like that that weren't extremely inaccurate, but weren't extremely accurate either. You know, try to take that stuff out or rewrite it, whatever you happen to do. But otherwise, not a bad narrative. I haven't read through the whole thing while we're sitting here. I'll save you that. But that's the first way that we can use it. The next way we can do it is writing content. Maybe we have trouble writing blogs and we have trouble, um, you know, when we obviously build websites for our clients, a lot of the times they have a hard time writing about themselves. It's one of the hardest bits of information to get from our clients because we don't like to write about ourselves. So they usually say, I worked in construction and I'm NASHI certified. Okay, uh, let's, let's flower this up a little bit. So maybe we have a hard time, maybe we're making our own website. We can use ChatGPT to help us write content. So first of all, before we move on, if we don't like the content that we've had written for us by ChatGPT, we can have it regenerate the response. Or we can also just copy and paste that and kind of rewrite our query a little bit and it'll do it a bit differently for us. So let's talk about content. Write website content for an about page for a home inspector with construction background and that is inter nashi certified so as chat gpt writes this content i'm going to address uh, a big question that people have a lot of people have said google hates ai content google will penalize your website for ai content you should never have ai content a couple of things first of all google has said that it has accepted ai content for years in fact if you look at search engine journal they actually quote some of the direct quotes from uh, like Danny Sullivan, they have all said the same thing. This is my favorite quote. Our focus on the quality of content rather than how content is produced is a useful guide that has helped us to deliver reliable, high quality results to users for years. In fact, um, it says automation has long been used to generate helpful content such as sports scores, weather forecasts, and transcripts. One of the things that Google did recently as of the making of this video was come out with what is called the helpful content um, algorithm update. So what that means is it doesn't care where the content comes from as long as it's helpful. If you write bad content as a human and AI writes helpful content, Google will help that helpful content be higher ranking than your content. In fact, in preparing for this video, I did a search home inspections and um, chat GPT one of the first results that came up was a home inspector who had ChatGPT write an article about home inspections and radon testing, which also came up ranking very highly, in national searches. Not just a local little market. He came up in national searches for AI-generated content. So what we want to make sure is when AI generates content that, first of all, it's helpful, not just fluff. Uh, even fluff sometimes can be okay as long as it's helpful but we want to make sure that it's good content. So have it write it, look it over, and then there we go. Uh, make sure it's not um, copied content, like content that's everywhere. So sometimes I'll write uh, in here in the query, write unique website content. So just as long as it's unique and helpful, that's all Google cares about. It's their official stance on it. But here you can see this isn't awesome content like maybe we were a single inspector it talks about our team um, but for the most part this gives us a basis you know we had our time writing content 
we're not professional content writers, this gives us something to work with. I would go through as a home inspector and just kind of tweak this. Same thing, and maybe we didn't like it, and we can kind of regenerate the response. Same thing for blog writing. We can write something like, write a blog about doorknobs and how they work. And ChatGPT will start generating the content for us. You'll notice sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to figure out what you're really looking for. But here it goes. Uh, this is great, too, for content that we're going to link in our report. So if we want to generate content that we're going to link in our reports, like maybe we say in our reports that we don't inspect generator systems. So we might have a link in a report. Here's a post to learn about your generator system or how to turn on your generator system. Or we might talk about polybutylene. Write an article about poly polybutylene and then link it in a report. Polybutylene piping was found in the home, yada, yada, yada. Here's a link to learn more. So we can see here that in just a few seconds, it's, it's almost done writing an entire blog for us. Now, we do not want to spam the internet with junky content, and we want to make sure that it's accurate. That's one of the big fallacies of content written with ChatGPT. Number one, inaccuracies. You have to check it thoroughly. Don't, if you don't know a point, don't trust ChatGPT to spit out the right content. Number two, it can't use human thinking. So it has no opinions, and it actually lacks idioms. So we speak in language with a lot of idioms. And actually, Google uses that as a way to recognize AI, AI content, even though it ignores whether it's AI content or not, just wants to basically know if it's helpful or not. But interject some idioms in there, some, some real speech and your own opinion. So that's the second way that we can use ChatGPT as home inspectors. Here's the third way, writing newsletters and presentations. I have personally done this. Now, it's not going to make images for us, although we can use AI to create images. We can use Dolly. Uh, that's a whole different video. But say we're having a first-time home buyer seminar, and we want to have an outline. So you can say, write me a presentation with slides for first-time home buyers about home inspections. So we're giving it some very specific queries. So it takes a second for it to kind of pop in and figure out what we're talking about. So here it's writing our presentation. This is one of the biggest questions that we see home inspectors ask uh, online is, you know, does anybody have a slideshow or presentation? Now we just need to generate the slides is the only thing. So it's writing our presentation for us. So I'm going to have it stop generating here. You can tell it's it's not that bad. We might need to tweak a few things, but for a presentation, that's pretty good. Also, newsletters. R write an email newsletter about spring maintenance. And here you go. It's writing a newsletter for us. We don't, we don't need to hire an outside company to write newsletters for us. They do it for us here at ChatGPT. So there's a lot of other uses that we didn't cover here. But these are three that we should really consider because ChatGPT is it's a tool. Everybody is using it right now. If we're not using it, somebody else will, and we'll get ahead of the game. It can save us time on report writing. It can save us uh, time on writing content for our website. And it can, third, save us time writing newsletters and presentations. So give it a try. Again, it's chat.openai.com. Again, this is Ian Robertson from Full View Home Inspector Marketing. Give us a call or check out our website at fullviewdigital.com.